Let's take a look at the other side of the cobalt miter saw. It does come with a 10-inch, 60-inch, 60-inch blade. Oh, that's great, 60-inch blade. Into this position, just lock it into place, and you're good to go. If you need to move this, all you have to do is unlock it, and yeah, that went real well. That went real smooth. Just slide it into place. Now, let's reshoot that. Let's take a look at the right-hand side of the Harbor Freight Miter Saw. This little yellow doodad right here is the trigger control. Doesn't have any safety mechanism on this. Uh, the whatchamacallit on the top makes it easier to lift, but you're going to have to use two hands, one here and one down there. There's no handle down there um, to lift this up, otherwise it's going to tilt down on you. You got a whatchamacallit uh, to control the thingamajigs right here. Uh, this little this little guy right here pulls out and twists up and allows you to do whatever you're going to do right there with the saw. And then, uh, of course, you got this um, thing here for dust control. And you also have uh, another whatchamacallit on this side to control the um, uh, whatever you whatever it is for the deal right there. Let's take a look at the bevel control on the DeWalt. No, this is that's this is miter control, not bevel control. Miter control, John. Miter control. There are two bumper teeth, teeth, feet. Two bumper feet on the front of the frame. Let's take a look at the right hand side of the Harbor Freight. This is the trigger. It doesn't have a safety mechanism. Whoa! Let's take a look at the right hand side of the Ryobi. I mean, <laughs> DeWalt. John, it is De DeWalt, not Ryobi, DeWalt. Let's take a look at the right hand side of the Craftsman. No. This is the left hand side. Left, right, left, right. Left side, John. Left side. Let's take a look at the right hand side of the. This is a Chicago. Yeah, Harbor Freight Chicago Electric. Let's take a look at the left hand side of the Craftsman. Of course, this little tension knob controls uh, controls the tension and keeps the. <laughs> Let's take a look at the other side of the cobalt miter saw. It does come with a 10 inch 60 tooth blade. Obviously has a blade guard. All the mechanism for the blade guard is easy to see, easy to keep clean. Again, another view of the dust bag. It does have on-stored, on, on board, on-stored borage. On-stored borage, great, that's, that's good. One of the major, one of the one of the major considerations, yeah, one of the major considerations when you're buying a saw is onboard storage. Let's take a look at the uh, exterior and onboard storage of the Bosch. I mean, Dewalt, D, Dewalt, John, say it, Dewalt. Anytime you're using extensions on your table saw, you want to make... No, no, it's a miter saw. Miter saw, not table saw. Miter saw. Let's take a look at the miter uh, mechanism on the Minion Hebu. Let's take a look at the accessories on the DeWalt. Naturally, it comes with a fence. And we're going to take a closer look at that later on in uh, this video. Naturally, it comes with a push stick, anti-kickback, anti-kickback pod, anti-kickback pod. Let's take a look at the miter control on the Harbor Freight. No, that's bevel control. Bevel control. One of my subscribers asked if I would do a review of the DeWalt 10-inch 15 amp. No, no, no. It's Cobalt. Cobalt, John. Say it, cobalt. One of my subscribers asked if I would do a review of the cobalt 10 inch 15 amp 
uh, compound sliding miter saw with the uh, <laughs> yeah fee fi fo fum it's English if you'd like to learn more about how to get uh, if you'd like to learn if you'd like to learn how to get more out of your miter saw some time ago I put a bit um, <laughs> I'd like you to meet my producer director. His name is Porsche. He's a three-year-old Cocker Spaniel. And he's constantly working in the background to make sure we get all the videos, all the segments of the videos that we're supposed to have in there. Right, Porsche? Yep. And just about time for dinner, isn't it? All right, you're getting hungry, I can tell. All right, let's go get some dinner.